Hello and welcome to an anime figure review of possibly one of the most tasteful anime statues I've ever bought and that is the Izumi Sagiri Paka version from Korifal. Uh, so we're going to take a quick look at the box as usual and then we'll jump in to looking at the figure herself. So those of you with a more refined taste in anime, those of you more into the sort of classics uh, will doubtlessly recognise Sagiri as the main character of Eromanga Sensei, which is a very, a very tasteful anime. Um, so anyway, we'll take a quick look at the box. There's a, there's a close-up of her face, and it says there, Eromanga, and I think that says Sensei, but I can't read kanji. Um, and that is her name, but again, I can't read kanji, but that does say Parka version. Which Parker obviously is coat, which is what she's wearing, and there it says uh, Sagiri Izumi. That is her name, and that is her hand. On the back, we've got the um, Ero Manga Sensei, and also there's little text there that does say Ero Manga Sensei, which is pretty cool. I don't know what that says, but it's it's something about the statue. And then we got like a side view of her as well, and then up top. We've got Korifal, which is um, a statue brand by title, as you can see there. So this is my first Korifal statue, I think, and I got this on offer, on like a sale on an anime site, and at the back is sort of a legal stuff. Anyway, right, talking about legal stuff, let's get into unboxing this statue. So I'm going to go... Open that up now, and then after this very, very cool uh, feed in, we'll see what the statue looks like. Alright, I'm back and I've assembled her. So she comes uh, in one piece actually, there's no kind of slotting things on. And it kind of makes sense the way the figure is built and everything. So, um, time to take a look at the finer details of Sagiri. That's not a, that's not a statement I ever thought I'd be saying in a video. But, so first up, I've got to say, I'm legitimately impressed with the base. Like, all of the promo shots, none of them showed the base. So I thought it'd be like a generic, you know, clear one. But actually, I'm really digging it, because it's got her name in a kind of, like, stylized thing, which I really like, and it's got loads of, like, details and stuff, and it's black. That, that's a really nice base. Is it just me? I don't know. It's, it's one of my favourites. Honestly, this beats out, like, pop-up parade and stuff, I'd say. Um, I mean, it feels a bit flimsy and stuff, it's not like as high quality plastic, but this is Korifal. They are a cheaper, um, you know, statue maker. Anyway, let's move on to her legs. Um, as you can see, it's pretty it's pretty plain. They, they look like legs and stuff. Um, and yeah, that's, that's about it, really. She has bare feet, which I'm sure... I'm sure appeals to a certain demographic. And then we're on to... Is this the... So I think this is part of the Parker, it feels like. So I think it's implied that underneath is some panties. But I'm not going to show you that because this is YouTube. And only a true degenerate would even look anyway. Yeah, she does have some. Right, okay, so next on to the Parker itself. And this is the second thing about this statue, right? I... Obviously, I bought this as a bit of a meme. Um, it's a joke between a friend and I about, you know, anime statues. Well, you got to buy the Sagri statue because we, we'd seen it on the site a few times. And I bought it. Now, this is a this is a conclusion I never thought I'd come to. I really like this statue. Um, let's take a look at this Parker. Dude, look at... Like, look at the moulding of the, like, flow of fabric and everything. I'm going to move this from the background for a second, just so it doesn't focus on that. That looks really organic and stuff. This is, like, great. It's clearly an oversized parka she's wearing. And the other thing, I'm going to try and get it to focus. I hope it's coming up well on camera, because this is fully textured. This is sort of... This feels kind of a little bit, not rough, but sort of rough, like, fabric -y. It 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 feels like, I don't know, I'm genuinely a bit in awe here, especially for the price point. This, this level of detailing is not something I ever thought would be. I thought it would just be a, a plain, like, matte kind of thing. Like, man, just look at the folds and, and the texture of this. This has genuinely blown my mind a little bit. 
I paid less than 20 pounds for this. I mean, compare this to like a Western figure, like a Funko Pop or something. This is like leagues above, good lord. Uh, I, I just thought of a Sagiri Funko Pop. That's the future, boys. Uh, right, anyway, move on to her hands. Her hands are hands and they're sticking out. As you can see, the Parker is too big for her, but that's kind of part of the cuteness and the charm. And then, so we move on. There's a little bit of a strange feature they've put here, which is at the tips of her hair, it's a little bit translucent, which is confusing. I mean, the rest of her hair looks fine, but the tips look like they're made of jelly, which is weird. I mean, so kudos again to making the hair kind of flow natural. We'll look at that in a second. But these tips just don't make sense. I don't think she dyed the tips of her hair in the anime, right? I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen it. Maybe I'll need to watch it for research again. Uh, she's got the very cute pink bows and stuff. And yeah, I just like the strands of hair as well. They're kind of sticking out. I mean, she's got it tied, but not like super, you know, it, it's a little bit messy and stuff, which is very cute. Again, Sagri is a very cute character. Let's not look further into that statement. And of course, her eyes and face, I think, are very good, especially, again, for the price point. This is, um, yeah, this is this is really good stuff, honestly. And um, just round to the, like, fold of the hood as well. Like, look at that, man. That is... Honestly, that looks as good as, like, Ban Presto and stuff. And they're a little bit pricier than these statues. So, um, maybe I went in with low expectations, lower than was necessary, maybe. But, yeah, we've got, like, you know, the, the fold of her hair and everything. I mean, that looks a little bit kind of uniform. You know, I mean, it's not super defined, like, the strands and stuff. But... I mean, you know, it's it's the front and the sides that really, you know, you want the hair to be particularly detailed with anyway. And honestly, overall, the only concern I mildly have about this statue is over time the lean factor. Because one of her feet is in the air, she's only balanced on one, and like, over time, will she slowly start bending that way? Maybe. I mean, if I'm particularly worried, I could always try and, like, stack something under that foot to kind of give support or something. I don't know. Um, I don't think I'm too concerned. As I say, this is quite a cheap statue. Anyway, just to prove how uncheap and actually quite detailed the statue is, I'm going to now do that kind of picture uh, montage of, of different angles and stuff of this statue to show you. So, here is some music and some pictures of Sagiri. Alright, there we go. There were some photos of the statue. Um, so yeah, it's time for a wrap-up. Uh, and honestly, I mean, I've already kind of covered all my points, really, but this is a statue I bought as a joke and ended up being quite impressed with the quality of. Like, genuinely, hats off to Taito and the Curryful range here because, um, well, I, I expected standard claw game kind of prize figures quality and I ended up with something I think at least is you know higher quality I mean technically I guess you could argue that maybe like the the legs and hands and face aren't particularly detailed I guess I don't know I don't know how you'd put much more detail in them really unless you made them very like stylized kind of like manga realization or something but uh yeah overall I'm I'm very impressed with this statue. I, I'm torn now. I I was going to display it as a joke, as like hey, look look where I've got guys. I've got I've got that the 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 manga drawing the manga drawing young girl. Uh, let's just stick with manga. Let's not go into details. Um, but actually, like it, it's just it's that Parker really. Honestly, that that like hoodie there is. It makes the statue. Um, if you've seen my other statue reviews, you know I've got a weird fascination in making statues look like they have fabric on and not just like a stationary bit of clay or plastic or whatever, or PVC. 
And this this really nails it. I, I'd put this on level with all of my other favourite, like, keep wearing or, you know, cloak wearing, like, statues and stuff. This is really cool and absolutely hats off for making it look like it's made of, like, wool, I guess? I, I don't know exactly what that texture would be in real life, but I know what it would be, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, that's... Honestly, there's not a lot more that I can say that hasn't already been said. Um, let me know in the comments, obviously, if you guys own this statue as well. I know there's a few other Sagari statues. I did v you know, very briefly kind of consider there is a Sagari statue. It's kind of similar to this, but she has a removable mask, because obviously she wears that mask when she streams. I was a little bit tempted, but the price point was just too much for, like, a kind of joke character. I mean, I watched Eromanga Sensei, it's, it's not in my 3x3 three by, three by any stretch of the imagination. But also, I will be honest, I... I was disappointed in how... not scandalous and trashy the anime was. It, it was... it was pretty... it was a little bit more standard than I was expecting. Maybe I just hewed too many bad things and was expecting the worst. But anyway, that about wraps it up, and... FBI, open up! Okay, I've got to go now. Uh, see you guys next time. Goodbye!